31 wins in his career, but look at Victor, still a young guy, he's been so active. Sanchez Leon is the older fighter, slightly taller, has a slight reach advantage, Ortiz coming in weighing tonight about six more pounds than he did. This one is scheduled for 10 rounds between the welterweights. All eyes on this return to Ortiz for the official introduction, Michael C. Williams. Premier Boxing Champions now moves to the welterweight division, scheduled for 10 rounds. The three judges at ringside are Joel Elizondo, Larry Hazard Jr., and Ursulo Perez, and the referee in charge of the action, Mark Colloy. And now, introducing the red corner first, he wears the blue and yellow. His professional record, 31 victories, 14 losses with two draws, 13 wins coming by way of knockout from Mexicali, Mexico, presenting Gilberto Sanchez Leon. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the silver, blue, and red. The former welterweight champion returns tonight with 30 professional victories, 23 by knockout, along with five defeats and two draws. Fighting out of Oxnard, California, introducing vicious Victor Ortiz. Okay, red corner, blue corner, we've already gone over the instruction in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. From this point forward, I want you to protect yourself at all times. Right here is good. These trunks are a little high, so this is going to be good. This is going to be good right here, okay? Good, clean boxing. Go to your corners. Buena suerte. Victor Ortiz, only 28 years old. He's been on the scene for so long. He's like that great freshman running back that's been a star for four years. You think, is this kid ever graduating? And you look at Ortiz and so fast in his career, of course, when Andre Berto, he upset him in 2011 to win the belt and then lost to Floyd Mayweather. Bang, bang, so much happened so early in his career, BJ. Yeah, he did. He had a lot to deal with at a very young age. And, you know, he was a very bright star, Kenny. People had very high expectations for him. And not to say that he hasn't had a great career, because he has, but um, there's still a lot left in the story of Victor Ortiz, I feel. And that's what Ortiz said. His script is not over. Kenny Rice, BJ Floyds, Paul Burmeister. Coming up later on, Marv Albert, Sugar Ray Leonard will be here for action on NBC at 8.30 Eastern time. Ortiz said that he has a lot of respect for Sanchez Leon because he knows he's had a lot of fights. This is a 17-year-old pro from Mexicali, Mexico, his first time fighting in Texas, and only his second fight in almost two years. He did not fight at all in 2014, dropped a unanimous decision back in October of this year. Even though he doesn't have a great record, Kenny, it's not a bad record at all, but when you fight 17 years professionally, you learn a lot of things. So I look for, uh, for him to be able to survive a little bit tonight and to you know, take Victor a couple rounds. And Ortiz at the fighter meeting, always entertaining, always with a story or two to tell, but he did seem to have a, a little bit of humility, I thought about him, BJ, coming in here that he wasn't taking anything for granted and he was ready to show everyone that he was serious about being a boxer again because he's had that question so many times in the last year since he's been off with the fractured wrist. Will you be an actor like you've been doing or will you come back and really be a boxer again? And also he's coming off a very, uh, you know, devastating loss to Louis Colazzo and that was something that, you know, a lot of people expected him to win that fight. He was knocked out in that fight and said, you know what, I'm going to go back to the drawing board, let everything heal up and start fresh and uh, we'll see how it goes for him. Ortiz there, nice combination. And you see something that Vic is able to do very well. He cuts off that distance and gets into punching range very fast, and it surprises a lot of his opponents. And he's stalking once again. It takes the action right along the ropes to Sanchez Leon. Three. And Leon is knocked four, down. Five, Good punch and a nice right six, uppercut seven, by Victor Ortiz. Eight, he's got very heavy hands, Kenny. And you saw how, how quickly he delivers it. Little short punch there. Sanchez Leon goes down. Nice and short from that southpaw stance, that lead right uppercut on the inside. Vic has always done that very well. Gets a lot of leverage on those short inside punches. And it's only a matter of time before Vic touches him again, especially if you keep digging that left of the body, because that right hook and right uppercut's going to be open. And that's how quick it went the last time. 20 seconds to go right here in the first. And Ortiz continues to stalk. I mean, let's not forget a young Ortiz went to war with Maidana, and that was kind of the fight where everyone thought, you know,
Vic isn't maybe what we thought, but he showed a lot of good weapons also in that fight. Ortiz in his return to the ring already has a knockdown here in the first round. Five. And Ortiz with a knockdown already. There you see his corner, quietly confident I think they were coming into this fight. There you see, as you mentioned, those heavy hands, BJ. Short right uppercut, right on the chin, followed it up with a right hook. Didn't load up at all in those punches, Kenny. Didn't telegraph him. Very difficult for his, his opponent to see those punches coming and uh, did a lot of damage. But, you know, like we talked about, like I was mentioning earlier, his fight with Maidana, a lot of people thought, oh, this kid, he gave up, he can't do this. But Maidana, people didn't realize how good he was at the time. Uh, also, his fights with Andre Bordo, absolute wars. Vic was one of my favorites uh, five, six years ago, and uh, I'm very curious and interested to see what he can do in the next couple months. And such is the buzz around here as well. Around San Antonio this week, obviously for Omar Figueroa Jr. headlining the card we're going to see later tonight on NBC here in the PBC. But just the fact that coming back was Victor Ortiz. He is a very popular fighter throughout. Uh, always an entertaining interview. Yes. And a lot of fans throughout the country want to see how good this guy still is. Yeah, fights with uh, Andre Berto, with Floyd Mayweather, Louis Colazzo. Marcos Maidana, he's been in with a lot of big names. and I mean, you can see the talent with this kid. So if he's at a place mentally where he needs to be, where he says he is, I think he could be very dangerous in the 147-pound division. Steve Farhood with us, unofficial score, puts it at 10-8, of course, with the knockdown for Ortiz. Ortiz has fought nine past or current champions. He has a 5-3-1 and one record against them. Even in the losses, you learn a lot of things, Ken. You gain a lot of experience. So... Victor being in the right state of mind is going to be very dangerous. Excuse me, 147, 154. It was 147 last time I checked. Asked Ortiz yesterday about all the champs he's fought. He's proud of the fact he's been in against the top competition. But then he added again. You know, I did a movie once and I looked over and there was Rocky on one side and the Terminator on the other, <laughs> talking about when he made the Expendables with Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So he's been in some heavy company on the screen as well as in the ring. And it's very difficult, Kenny, once you've had a dose of that Hollywood life and movies and that kind of life to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to keep coming. I'm going to come back to boxing. I'm going to do what actually got me here. And uh, that's what Vic's doing. So, you know, he's hungry because he, nobody's making him box. Break. Ortiz from Garden City, Kansas. You see that in the blue and red of his trunks and the Kansas Jayhawk on it as well. He takes the action into the corner again where Sanchez Leon covers up, ties him up, and now they're ready to go. Well, you heard him announce that Vic was from somewhere else, and you saw him kind of scowl at the ring announcer. He kind of made a face, and he likes to be represented from Garden City. He is proud of that. He said, you know, I had some, I experienced some tornadoes growing up in Kansas, like any good Kansan has experienced. He said, there's, you know, always that calm before the storm. I am the calm before my storm again. Keep an eye. I'm going to make some noise in 2016. It's going to start now. And this is where traditionally Vic has been very, very good and very effective. He gets inside. Look at the head placement. He gets it off to one side and he's able to land that right uppercut. Still hasn't really got that punch going too much besides the knockdown, but he's still getting warmed up, I feel. There it was. Again, we've seen him in close already deliver a knockdown. That was in the first round. Slides in that uppercut again and a good right. And see, when you shoot those punches, the right uppercut, the right hook, the left, it creates all these different angles that Sanchez has to get out of the way of, and it's very difficult. Ortiz coming again at different angles along the ropes. This time, Sanchez Leon still standing as round two comes to an end. And there you see Ortiz. We take a look at him in action here with that uh, nice close-in work, BJ. Yeah, even though he didn't land the right uppercut and the right hook, it set up an opening to land the straight left hand. And when Vic gets in close quarters there, you see the head position off to the side, not really able to shoot a punch from that angle, but he's always looking for chances to open up more offensive opportunities. Very proactive fighter. Gilberto Sanchez Leon, 35 years old. As we mentioned, 31, 14 and two, veteran fighter. Not been active that much as of late. He has fought, though, six different fighters who challenged for a world title. So Sanchez Leon has been in with good company. 
And like Ortiz told us, this is no, and these are his words, walk in the park for me. I understand this guy's been around. He's been through some battles, so I know this is going to be a good working return. And that's smart for Victor because a lot of times on comeback fights, whenever you've been out of the ring a long time, they'll give you a soft touch. And uh, he realizes that he's going to have his hands full tonight, and that's going to help elevate his performance. I love that combination, that right hook, left hand of the body. Every time you make a thing, he's got a chance. The reason I love it is because when you shoot that right hook, the opponent has to defend it and put that left hand up to try to block if they're not going to move their head. And then that creates a huge opening for that left hand to sink in there to the body. And Ortiz, and Ortiz, when he's on, it's almost perfect the way he executes. Gets his hips and his waist, his entire body and all his punches, good leverage. Sanchez has kind of gotten to the point where he's almost not quite in survival mode, but he's really careful about what he does because he knows he leaves himself open when he commits to punch, and he hasn't liked, liked the power of Victor Ortiz so far. Well, he paid for it back in the first round when he was knocked down by Ortiz. And Ortiz coming right back at him. Ortiz has been the aggressor throughout this fight. He's waited almost a year to the day. It was a year ago tomorrow that he broke that uh, wrist in his last fight. And the left hand looks good so far, and that's something that, whether he admits or not, even in sparring, it's always different than the fight. He wanted to test that hand out and see what it felt like, and I think he's uh, going to gain confidence. Two, and another not the go on. Five. Got him with it looked like a shot almost seven, at the back of the head eight, on Sanchez seven. Leon. Walk over here. Let's go. So for the second time in this fight, Sanchez Leon has been knocked out. And again, a short punch. I'm going to have to take a look at the replay, Kenny. It did look like when I saw it the first time that it was on the back of the head, but tough call for the referee to make in the spur of the moment like that. Right. Now, if you're Victor, you want to continue to punish the body. And you see Sanchez Leon kind of moving to his left every time. Moving to his left, moving to his left. Vic, take that away. Shoot the right hook. Shoot the left hand and the right hook and stop and mobilize your opponent so you can really get some nice work done. One point, Commissioner. Holding. One point, holding. Over here. One point, holding. Don't hold. That's they box. have just taken a point away for holding from Sanchez Leon. I mean... Steve Smoger, what do you think, Hall of Fame ref? Not at all. It was a very, very difficult call. He should have warned him at least. It wasn't a very aggressive hold. And it was, uh, you know, trying to preserve and get out of this round. It was a terrible round for Sanchez Leon. First off, let's take a look. He was knocked down and then just moments ago had a point taken away from for holding. Yeah, I disagree with the, uh, the holding call. But let's take a look at the knockdown here. Digging that right hook into the body. Then the right hook, definitely behind the head, definitely a shot that, uh, you know, but referee did what he thought was right, called it a knockdown. Vic set that shot, shot up nicely with the right hook to the body first, and he's been very successful with that punch and able to land it in those close quarters. And then late in the round, here is the holding call against Sanchez Leon. You know, he's definitely holding, there's no question about it, but like Steve said, it wasn't an aggressive thing, there wasn't enough warnings, and it was just uh, difficult to take a point there. When you get inside, remember, he's trying to hold you. Just slide your foot back and, and catch him on the way in to the body. Comienza de abajo para arriba, okay? How you feel? Good. The corner of Victor Ortiz, their instructions to him, he has been so strong. Sanchez Leon in that last round, everything went wrong. He connected even on only two punches was knocked down and had a point taken away. Steve, how have you scored this fight so far? Well, every round's been a different total for Sanchez Leon. Knockdowns, point deductions. I'm fearful that if the fight keeps going this way, Sanchez Leon's total will end up being in the negatives. <laughs> <laughs> it has been all Ortiz, and now Ortiz going to work. Sanchez Leon feeling those along the base, along the ropes there as he continues to dig in and a nice combinations again by Ortiz that's what he does so well and it was nice how Victor was able to create distance even after he landed the combination Sanchez Leon tried to reach in and grab him Victor did what his corner said he stepped back and slid his hands back and ripped another combination and punished Leon against the ropes Don't stop 
and Victor's one of those guys that once he gets going, he's a tough guy to stop. He's really a handful for anybody, and you see why. He comes in these fights in great shape. He's got a wide arsenal of punches, and uh, he's very heavy-handed, Kenny. And BJ talked about basically he walks around in shape for his movie work as well. So he said he had a great training camp for this. He was ready to go for this. And he wanted to be able to make some kind of statement that he's back on the scene, pay attention. Is he doing that in your opinion so far? I mean, it's tough with the opponent that he's got in front of him to say, hey, Victor Ortiz is officially back. But just to, you know, see him in camp, getting through an entire camp without any injuries, coming out and performing, dominating the guy he's supposed to dominate, um, it creates a very interesting setup for his next fight. I will be curious to see it. Well, he did talk a lot about filming as well as a lot about fighting. We know he's also made a comedy with Bruce Willis Nobody that's coming out. He's got a lot of good experience in those movies he's been in already. And just, just a great opportunity for a young kid to really branch out and move in other directions in his career and his life. But as he called this a reality check, said he was watching some guys he still thinks he can beat. He still thinks he can be strong in this division. And as he was watching those sitting in Hollywood, as he tells it, right out of the script he said i got to get back in the ring as soon as i start healing up a little bit on my wrist and that's when he got serious again back in the summer so tells the story of vic to us yesterday and i love that because a lot of times when you box your entire life you just burn out and i think vic got to that point a couple years ago well now the battery looks to be recharged and he's realizing some things on his own and uh wants to get back in those high high profile matchups and a good strong Great. Showing here by Ortiz, some nice punishment. Got that left in there, strong right in on Sanchez Leon. Final seconds of this fourth round. Victor Ortiz continues to be in charge of this fight, BJ. Sanchez Leon hangs tough, as you would expect him to do. He has not won very many lately. But now let's take a look at what Ortiz has done. He upset Berto, the fight of the year when he won the welterweight title. He lost in between all of that to Floyd Mayweather. Fractured his wrist in victory against Perez almost a year ago to the day. His first fight in 364 days. So that's been a little bit of capsule of the career of Vic. Here's what he did in the last round. And you see how he sets up that nice left hand. He gets in close to his opponent, and he really doesn't give his opponent a chance to hold. Vic is able to free his hands up and create more offense for himself. And when he's letting his hands go like this, anybody's going to have trouble because he comes from so many different angles, and it makes it difficult. Another look here. You see him leaning in. Sanchez Leon didn't know it was coming. When you're inside with him, you got to smother him. Even if he's holding you, you got you to keep punching. Keep punching, even though he's holding you. He's holding. Hey, you got this. This is loose. Joel Diaz giving him instructions to Ortiz as he comes out for this. The fifth round is scheduled for 10. Ortiz in the red and blue. And he continues to take the fight. This last round scored by Steve Farhood, 10-9. So it's been all Ortiz. Let's check in the corner now with Paul. Hey, Victor, clearly in command. What's he have to do now to finish? Well, he just needs to uh, pick it up a little more. Like I said right now, he needs to uh, kick in second gear. And I already shifted the second gear in him right now in his mind. Because this guy is in survival mode. Obviously, you know, he's just trying to survive through the rounds. So it's time for him to step it up and finish his fight now. Thank you. Kenny? All right. Thank you, Paul. And it does look as if Sanchez Leon's is still hanging around, but he is still hanging around. And that's some of the experience from all the years of being a professional. You know, it's not a very entertaining fight, but Sanchez Leon is hanging around. And Joel Diaz said it exactly right. He wants uh, Vic to put it in second gear and get him out of here. Victor has two knockdowns already. Was that in first gear? <laughs> I believe so, because Victor can knock a lot of guys down in first gear. Right. And Joel Diaz knows, hey, this, this is a star. This is a guy who's got a very big name and would create a lot of very interesting matchups, but we got to be impressive in this fight, so Joel wants a conclusive ending to this fight. Ortiz certainly capable of that. Look at this. It continues down up. He's landed almost 100 punches. Now he is right at that as he continues with the combinations along the ropes. You see Vic landing that nice overhand left after he shoots the straight left. So it's confusing for Sanchez Leon. Which one's coming? Is it the straight or is it the overhand? And Vic's hurt him with both of them. Right there was the overhand again. One thing, after all the training, which he said was a great training camp, Ortiz is getting some rounds in here as well. And this could be a blessing for him because coming off a long layoff, 
you need rounds. And not just rounds in the gym and not rounds in sparring. You need rounds underneath the lights. And this is good for Vic and his confidence. And every round unofficially scored for him by Steve right now for Ortiz. Of course, Ortiz with a knockdown. The third round was awful for Sanchez Leone. He got knocked down and had a point deducted for holding. See something Vic does very well on the inside, that head placement. His head is off to the right shoulder of Sanchez Leone. It puts him in range to land his right uppercut and out of range of Sanchez Leone's right hand. And he's always trying to fight for head position as far as getting lower than Sanchez Leone because it creates better angles for leverage on the inside. Here we go. Ortiz coming right back, forcing the pressure. He's carried the whole fight, has Ortiz. Been waiting almost a year to get back into action. And he has been solid tonight in this return against a veteran fighter in Sanchez, Leon. Victor Ortiz. And here's Victor Ortiz that last round, BJ. And there you see the kind of overhand left landing on the top of the head. He's mixing up his straight left hand and a nice overhand left whenever he sees Sanchez Leon reaching with that right hand. And it's been very effective so far because he can't miss with it. He hasn't missed much tonight. And you don't know which hand is coming. He's good on. Was that late? Yeah, no question that shot was late, but you know, you're in the middle of a fight and with a split second like that, that kind of stuff happens a lot. They come back out now for round six, scheduled for 10. Ortiz in the red and blue. He has landed on 45% of his power punches. Definitely a little late from Sanchez Leon there, but he's not shooting very many punches around, Kenny, so I'll take it. Actually, Ortiz has connected on twice as many punches as Sanchez Leon has thrown. That's how dominant he's been in this fight. And that's what it's felt like. That's what I'm saying. You know, maybe it was a little bit late, but if Sanchez Leon decides he's going to shoot a punch, we just better take it. Yeah, that's right. Because he's really getting out punched by Ortiz right now. He is. That was probably his best punch. <laughs> Look at the copy box stats adding up over here. And yeah, power punches. Ortiz has landed more, twice as many more, as have been thrown by Sanchez Leon. Look at the ones landed 120 to 16. And we're seeing a bit of that second gear that Joel Diaz wanted out of Victor here in this sixth round. Victor came out very short, very compact on his punches and really looking to step the gas, step on the gas and get this kid out of here. Well, it shows his 35-year-old Sanchez Leon from Mexicali, Mexico. He's been in against some tough guys. He's fought six other guys who fought at one time or another for a championship. So he knows a little bit about this. And he certainly has been hanging in there, even though he's taken some punishment throughout, BJ. Yeah, it's not a fight that he's going to win, but, you know, a guy that's going to take Vic some rounds. And I think the management side of Vic saw that and said, our guy's been out of the ring. We want to get him back in, and Sanchez Leon's a perfect guy. And he sure is getting a lot of work here now. Ortiz has been able to work on a lot of things, including his power shots. And believe it or not, this is going to help him a lot more than a quick knockout, Kenny, because it's all different when you're doing it in the ring underneath the lights. That's exactly right. And so uh, it was the kind of fight Ortiz again said, it's not a walk in the park. I prepared to go out there and maybe even go the distance if I have to. And I love when Vic gets tied up. You see him put his head down and step out with that left hand to try to, or step out with his left foot to try to create distance to free his hands up and uh, be more offensive. A lot of guys are content just to be held on the inside, not Vic. Victor Ortiz talks about learning lessons. Talked about that at the fighter meeting yesterday. Going back to when he upset Berto, when he then lost quickly to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Then he dropped three in a row all during that period of time. Said everything was a learning experience. All this movie work I've been doing, coming back, I've been watching a lot of boxing, learning. What do you think he's learning about himself in this return? Oh, he's just learning that mentally he's at a place where he needs to be to be uh, successful in this division. A lot of good guys, and you got to have your head right if you want to get in there and perform right. And a workout, a good one continues here for Ortiz. <laughs> 28-year-old Ortiz back in his corner. Corner that was confident coming into this fight. Not so much just about winning, they thought he would come back strong and show that he's ready once again and take notice. 
of Victor Ortiz. Certainly one of the more popular boxers in the last decade. And there's the corner of Gilbert Sanchez Leon. Didn't fight at all last year. He's had one fight this year. He has lost five of his last seven. But he's been in against some tough guys and he's hanging in there tough today and giving a workout to Ortiz. And you gotta be tough when you take punches like this from Victor Ortiz. Yeah, he knows how to roll with some of those shots, Kenny, and take some of the power off him. But, you know, he really has no uh, chance of winning this fight tonight unless he got lucky and landed that knockout shot. But you got to shoot punches to do that, Kenny, and I just haven't seen that so far. So we go to the seventh, scheduled for 10. Here at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Ortiz in the colors of KU's Jayhawks. Of course, he is from Garden City, Kansas. They're in the red and blue. And I think this is one of those fights where Sanchez Leon is going to be content just to go the distance. Not trying to win, not trying to uh, do anything spectacular, but just uh, a moral victory and going the distance with Victor. Let's check in with Steve Farhood. How you scored so far? A Zach Greinke shutout. He's, uh, <laughs> he's dominating the fight. He's the naturally stronger guy. He's a naturally bigger guy. You have to keep in mind that Sanchez Leon only a few fights ago was a, was a featherweight. And Ortiz is just too strong for him, and as a result, Sanchez Leon's been in survivor mode for most of this fight. Will Ortiz then be courted by both the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers? Big contract. And no one's more excited than me that Greinke's coming in town because I live in Scottsdale. And, uh, man, there's a big buzz in Arizona right now about Greinke coming in to pitch for the Diamondbacks. We're excited about it. And there's Ortiz still methodically getting a lot of his shots in there. He's uh, gone up top. He's worked the body well tonight. That hook you've talked about, BJ, he's been able to get everything in. Yeah, he picks his spots with his punches, Kenny, and he really knows where to shoot the punch. He doesn't just shoot it to a region. He shows it, shoots it to a point of the body, and that's why he's so accurate. And Ortiz had a knockdown in the first round and again a knockdown in the third round of Sanchez Leon. On the inside, those short, compact punches by Vic and also creating the space to be able to shoot the proper punch is something that he does very well. He is landing on 47% of his power punches. He's thrown over 325 now. And it continues to add up as he works the corner. Good head position by Vic on the inside. And just all those angles of punches, it's getting to the point where the referee needs to take a good look because Sanchez Leon's really taking a beating. Sanchez Leon literally trying to hold on and stumbles. Here we go. Nice and clean. Let's go. And that was a stumble as Ortiz goes back to work. And even though there was nothing drastic, Kenny, that landed there that was real eye-popping, Vic landed nine or ten good solid shots in there that have an effect on Sanchez Leon. He's just uh, looking to survive now. And maybe he can't much longer with Ortiz working hard now along the ropes. Break. You see that head position on the inside, so important. Okay, Blue, here we go. Referee called him out on it there, but... That's a part of inside fighting, getting your head to one side, getting your head underneath. Sanchez Leon taking a lot more punishment here in this seventh round from Ortiz. Strong round for Victor. All of them have been good rounds for Victor Ortiz in this fight, not even a question. And again, like you pointed out, BJ, perhaps that was the thinking coming in. After being off for almost a year, he's going to be against a guy that's tough and he's going to get a lot of work in, and he's worked seven rounds so far. Exactly what he's got, and we take a look at some of the good work from Victor in that last round. Just shoot, letting his hands go here, being real comfortable, getting in range. Nothing spectacular landed there, but you see him following up his hooks with left hands. Now I want you to do I need you to go in there. I don't want you to chase him. I want you to cut the ring on him. Throw your punches to his chest. Okay, you already heard him. Ha, 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 ha. Smother him, okay? Get him all, all, all messed up already. Frustrate him. Okay? He just... Joel Diaz throwing about as many punches as Sanchez Leon has in this fight. More. Right there in the corner. <laughs> More. And he wants to keep it. That's why Victor said they have such a great relationship. Said, Joel, keeps me on my toes, literally. Keep going. Don't back off. 
as we go into round eight scheduled for 10 against the very game Sanchez Leon, who has certainly just been outmatched by Ortiz tonight. And Joel was a good fighter in himself. Oh, yeah. You can see the temperament of him over in the corner, you know, get inside and really demonstrate those combinations. You could tell he uh, still got a lot of fire. But he knows what Vic needs to do to get this kid out of here. You know, sometimes it's easier to do from the outside than it is on the inside. Sanchez has a lot of uh, survival tactics, and it's tough when both guys don't want to participate. Round seven, all 39 of Ortiz. Power punches. Connected. That's incredible. He was just, every time he threw something hard, did miss. Hit. Nice short right hook by Victor. And now he's got him to the point where he doesn't even have to be too concerned about what's coming back. Vic can pretty much go in there and do whatever he wants because he's really soft and softened up Sanchez Leon. And again, Ortiz working right. hard against Sanchez Leon. You know, if this continues, Kenny, I think the ref should just, you know, take a good look at him and just ask him if he wants to fight. It doesn't seem like he almost wants to be here. You know, obviously he's trying to survive, but. And stalking him once again as Ortiz to keep the pressure on. Good punch output from Vic here in this uh, in this eighth round. So these are the kind of things you want to see from a guy coming back. Is he able to maintain the same type of pace? Is he able to continue? Is he able to get himself in position to land good shots? And you know the ref needs to take a look here. And Ortiz going to work again. Sanchez Leon trying to hang on. And that's all he's doing right now. And here comes Ortiz once again. You know, if Sanchez Leon, Kenny, was shooting and firing back, it would be different, but there's just nothing coming back. And it's just, uh, he's taking a lot of punches and a lot of punishment here. And delivering, like you said, BJ, very little. He's connected with only two body shots. Right. He has been on the defensive since the start. He has been knocked down twice in this fight, in the third round and in the first round. He's getting manhandled by Ortiz on the inside, the outside, every facet of what he's doing, just trying to hold on and survive, and he's just really taking a lot of punishment. It's turning into a Victor Ortiz sparring session in front of a few thousand people. And Ortiz continues to give chase here in the final seconds of round eight. Ortiz still in dominating control. And Sanchez Leon looks like. That's it. That is it. Sanchez Leon going to his corner. He was out of it. Victor Ortiz has won his return. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially two minutes, 57 seconds into round number eight. The winner by TKO Vicious, Victor Ortiz. Sanchez Leon's corner stopped the fight. They said their man could not continue. He had been pummeled throughout by Victor Ortiz. Ortiz with a dominating return to win for the 30 first time.